Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's a brief discussion video. So if you don't like discussion videos, please feel free to click off and, and you know, go check out another video that I've done uh, on Samsung products. Now, Samsung has decided to, for their M series uh, to switch to a new design and they're going with this type of design right here. And I find that strange because, you know, they've been the only company that I think that has stayed true to their roots and kept the traditional screen, meaning, you know, no cutouts. They're, they're, they're doing the same thing that they've been doing and it actually works for them in this situation. No change in this situation is a good thing. So, but I'm not against these designs or this design with the big cutout on the top. What I'm saying is they've decided to take the route of other OEMs with their M design and switch their design up from this traditional style to this style. Now, if, you're if you're wondering what I'm talking about for M design, the M50, the M30, those are their not budget phones, but they're not considered flagship devices. And they've completely switched to this design right here, which is the design uh, that we've seen on the Essential phone and a few other phones. Now this is really catching on. The new Moto line has this design. Uh, and you know, companies are just kind of following suit right now, it appears. Uh, and that is something that I don't like. I really hope that Samsung, uh, when they when they do their flagships, really decide to stick to something like this and just give it all screen now. I've actually experienced the, people are calling it the punch hole display. It's just the, um, the camera on the back side of the, the display. And, you know, I, I, I don't hate it. I don't love it. Uh, I just think it's you know, a direction that they're gonna go in. I would much rather prefer something like this design on the Mate uh, than uh, any of the other designs, which was the Essential Phone basically first though, or some other phone, whoever did it first, it doesn't matter. The Essential Phone was my first experience with this type of design, uh, hands-on, and I really enjoyed it. And I really like it. This is probably why I like this design so much over here. Now I can remove this whole entire area and drop it down, but you know, it, it still looks great either way. But Samsung, if they were to employ this type of design, which they already have on their other devices, but if they do employ it on the flagship, quote unquote, flagship devices, how would you guys feel about that? Because this is technically considered a flagship, uh, this Mate 20X, uh, uh, and, and my, it has all the features of a flagship, you know, just doesn't have a quad issue display. That's pretty much it in a wireless charging. Uh, but it could definitely be considered a flagship. And if Samsung takes that route, uh, what do you guys say about that? What do you say about them um, switching it up on their higher price devices? Are you guys willing to pay for that? And um, I think that a lot of you guys will pay for it because you technically get more screen in view just by a hair. Uh, but I, I don't know how I feel about it. I really hope that you know, because this design is what I know them for, for a very, and, and I'm not saying that um, I won't buy their products if they switch to this design, but I, I will say that I think I probably prefer this design over the the um, camera coming through the top side of this display, because I used the, the Honor V20 at CES, and like I said, honestly, I said in the other video, I just wasn't as press, impressed as everybody else was. Uh, the power of the phone, yes. Uh, but not that design. The, the back of the phone is beautiful. I think that's what people were awing over. Uh, but, you know, I, it's a matter of personal preference, and that's really what it boils down to. Now, if Samsung were to employ this type of design, because these stereo speakers right here, uh, this is the kind of design that is on the iPhones, obviously. This is an easier way to do stereo speakers, but it doesn't give you the best quality, and that's for sure, because even though the Mate 20X has stereo speakers that are facing outwards, uh, yes, they are louder than, uh, or louder or right on par with the uh, Pixel devices, but front facing speakers always give a better sound. You know, you're not covering them anyway, and they're coming straight towards you. So if Samsung were to employ something like this in the future, like even on this phone right here, Samsung could employ dual speakers facing you. Uh, but they're sticking to the traditional design that they have and I'm not mad at them, but screen. If they were to move to this cutout or this cutout, how would you guys feel about that? I don't know how you guys would feel about it. Let me see if I can pull up the, the M50 real quick so I can show you, but 
Uh, oh, well, here we go. Right, it's, it's the A50. I'm sorry. There's the M series too, but there's also um, an an A series. And um, I want to, I want to. All my serious stuff is going on. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Let's see if I can find the M50. A picture of it. All right, that's the M50, and then you also have the A50. So I'll pull up the A50. They pretty much look alike. Um, when you see them, uh, let's see here. Let me see if I can find it. I'm, I'm searching for it for you, so you'll be able to see what it looks like. I want to show you a picture of it um, because it's. Let me see if I can get on GSM Arena. It's a, it's just like this design right here. It's just like this design. As a matter of fact. There's a picture of the A50 right there, which has this design. They just kind of try to push it out a little bit. That's one of the upcoming A, the uh, the um, devices from Samsung. Uh, but uh, let's see if I can find some Samsung phones down here with that cutout. See, Redmi is doing it. You know, just a ton of companies are doing that design. Lenovo has it. Uh, you know, and it's just kind of like they all follow suit. So here's the M20. Here's the M10. Yeah, here they all are. So this is the A8 series, A8, 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 A8 series. It's got the little cutout at the top like the Huawei devices, but uh, the M50 is not going to be on here yet. The uh, A50 is not going to be on here, but here's the M20 and here's the M10. And they both have that design, uh, that cutout like this. So, I mean, what would you do if Samsung's flagships went to that design? Just talking about the front. Would you still be supportive of them? Because remember, they're sticking true to their core values, which is to bring phones and, you know, this design. I know that some people are going to say, oh, they're going to involve uh, and all this other stuff. But some people don't like these types of designs. I personally am a fan of the design over these this design. So, it's your man, Jay. Quick discussion video. Should they get back to the old school or should they just continue to follow the trend, stay with this, or would you appreciate if they moved to this design? Shaman J, see you in the next video. Take care.